Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. All right, there we go. We are on time. We're doing good today. <laughs> I am ready to rock and roll. I hope you guys are as well. And i uh, got a fun, fun topic today that always comes from a bit of inspiration, which I love. So, good morning, Ivana. Hi, Keely. Nice to see you guys. Hi, Emilio. Oh, I'll tell you, I could just keep drinking the whole thing. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Good morning, Sean. Nice to see you. So, uh, come, there's my Shelby. Shelby, I'm running out of coffee. Desperate. <laughs> We, we, have an, we have an alert. Hey, everybody. There's Jeffrey. Everybody's here. Good, good, good. All right. So this morning, there's Brooklyn. Hi, honey. This Oh, there's Kiko. I need to tell you, my boss, that it's mandatory that I can leave work to watch your show. Yes, I think you do need to tell him. Um, there we go. And there's my Tracy, which I'll talk to you in a bit. Thank you, guys. Love you. All right. So let's talk about building your relationship with spirit, okay? Because um, it's an important part of who we are and our connection, you know, and how do we do that? And I think what you, you the first step would be to stop blaming spirit for everything <laughs> and stop thinking spirit doesn't love just you um, because they love all of us and we may make silly decisions, okay? And we can't really go around w wagging a finger and blaming spirit every time that happens, right? Sure, it's easier to blame somebody else for your mistake than it is to take responsibility. I get it. But we really have to kind of work on that relationship with spirit. How do we honor spirit? How do we become um, aligned with spirit? Now, the idea of being aligned with spirit, I mean... You, you are spirit. You're part of spirit. So just always remember that, right? It's not separate from us. We, we are all one. So universally, energetically, we are all one, okay? So when we, when we align with it, really what we're doing is solely aligning with, our, aligning with ourself, higher self, and spirit, which is already there. I think we have a way to all connect. And I also think that that is why some mediums um, talk to spirit, why they have that gift. I really feel like they're, they're in alignment with that vibration so they can hear that communication or feel or see or however they receive their own information. But that doesn't mean that we all can't um, build our relationship with spirit. Now, like any relationship, it takes a little bit of effort takes a little bit of work. Oh, I do love me some Vancouver, Tina. I gotta tell you, true that. Hi, Nina. So, you say to yourself, how do I build my relationship with spirit? Well, one is honor spirit. All right, respect spirit, like anybody. It's, this is no kind of different than how we would want to be treated with one another. We would want to be respected. We would want to be honored. We would want to be spoken to kindly and nicely and uh, not accusations thrown at us, right? Because <laughs> you know how you are. Spirit, why did you do this to me? You know you do that. You know you do. Just fess up with some hearts. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Adrian. Hi, Rhonda. So, yeah, see, there we go. I knew the hearts were coming. I knew they were. So, watch how you're speaking to spirits. Watch if you're finding words in which you're blaming spirit for things in your life because there really is no place for blame either we've made a choice and we're we're expected to learn from that choice um or we made a choice in the best uh the best vein but really at the end of the day it wasn't wasn't the best one right see there you go i i love that this this needs to be um rehab spirit rehab <laughs> My name is Rebecca, and I have blamed spirit. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, so ask yourself, how are you talking to spirit? 
Are you blaming them for the things in your life or what you perceive to be inadequacies or you're not where you want to be or things are not happening at the rate you feel they should be or why did they put so and so in your life to only pull that person out of your life? I thought this was the one. Actually, we should talk about that in another coffee with Colby. Um, but we, you know, so stop the blame game. I think that's the first step. The second step is to, again, remind yourself that we are part of spirit. Um, you know, there, it is, it is loved ones and, and energy and people on the other side. But again, if we have this belief system that we're all one, then of course we're one with them as well. It doesn't divide itself that we're not. And I do feel that that's why when we pass and when we cross over, we are reunited with them in that way because we're going home, right? So other ways that you can do it is, you know, really, really make an effort on that mindfulness, that presentness, because you would be absolutely shocked at how much that can help you build your relationship with spirit. So there we go. Cheers. Cheers, Nina. Nina's going to do wine with Colby, which I love. Um, but, you know, one of the things you could do is really become in alignment with yourself first and your higher self first. Because when you're in alignment with you and yourself, then you're actually going to feel spirit, see spirit, hear spirit. It's going to be a little more obvious, I believe, to you because you're already in that vibration, in that space a bit. So you have to really practice this mindfulness and presentness. When we get lost in things, our ego gets all over the place, right? Our mind plays games. We don't sleep. We're not focused. We're not motivated. We're distracted. All of those things pull you out of the vibration of spirit. They're going to pull you right on out. They're going to be very grounding, okay? So try, try when that happens, do a breathing method. You know, again, there's so many breathing methods. You can Google it. But I do love uh, breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth. And just just doing that automatically is going to calm you down. I mean, look at it. Yeah, see, that's this is the thing I'm impatient about. Keely, it is about honoring. You know, and, and some people want that connection with spirit right now. Why isn't it here? And why isn't it okay well you're putting some pressure on yourself and you're putting some pressure on spirit and I do feel or believe you're expecting a greater return on on how it works I think maybe maybe you have an expectation that it's going to be something more more grandiose just because when we tell stories um, they sound so big for instance Oh my goodness, I walked into a room. This isn't the beginning of a joke. It, it sounded like the beginning of a joke, and it's not. Um, I walked into a room, and all of a sudden, I just saw this man standing right there, and he looked right at me and tipped his hat. So now, when someone is looking to connect with spirit, they're not seeing no men with hats standing around, so they think that they don't have a gift. <laughs> but that is spirit coming in the physical form for the physical eye of that particular recipient that doesn't mean how that's how you're going to get the information you could get it through clairsentient feeling just a sense of the hairs on the back of your neck are standing up something's mm, something's in here <laughs> and it could be as simple as that nothing nothing more than that and that is your experience but once you start to recognize these experiences that may be more subtle you're building a relationship with spirit. Once you kind of start to, to see or feel or hear how it's working for you, that's when you'll actually start to recognize it more. It won't be so once every in a blue moon, right? And I do really feel that that's only because we're not quite connecting how they're working with us, okay? Like for many, 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 many years, you know, I've heard spirit. I mean, loud as day, like they're just having a full-on conversation. But I did not recognize that that's what was happening. I really thought I was crazy. I mean, I don't want to hear it. I'm completely sane. But I thought I was crazy. 
But now that I recognize that that's how information comes in, my ear is so in tune to that vibration that it's like I hear it all the time, like a constant conversation when, when I'm tuning in. All right, and when I don't want to tune in, I can turn it off. So there you go, Kiko. See, so start to recognize, or at least work on, without thinking too much. We don't want to create pressure. How are you getting the information? Because once you know that's how you're getting it, okay, then you'll be able to recognize how they're giving it to you in any particular way. Then you can start to build and develop how you're getting it so that it becomes stronger for you. That's building your relationship with spirit. The other thing, all right, the other thing, don't talk to them like they owe you something. I hear, oh, I hear that all the time. You know, hey friend, what's your name? How did you die? Tell me about yourself. How many kids did you have? What did you do for work? Um, yeah, yeah. If you interrogate me, I'm going to I'm going to beat you. <laughs> I would say maybe not beat, but I might. All right? It's it's rude. It's rude to even talk to somebody like that, let alone spirit. The spirit are those who graduated. They've already done this stuff. They've already done the crappy hard work down here. They got to graduate, and all they're looking to do is connect to a loved one, have a nice little conversation to let them know they're here, and you want all their information before you decide that you're going to deliver what they're giving. Like, huh? Just just get to know them. Oh, my God, you see the orb? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Did you see it? Okay. So get to know them, you know, hey, oh, hey, what you, how are you? Yes, yeah, how, are you feeling okay? Oh, good, good, good. Oh, what's that, what's that little feeling you're giving me in my chest? Oh, that's how I passed. Oh, something in your chest? Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. He's, he's letting me know um, there's something in his chest connected to his passing. Can you relate to that? And so, you know, what kind of things did you enjoy doing? Oh, I really liked working with my hands. Really? Like, were you good at it? Did you carve? Are we a hammering? Like, just get to know them. All right? And I really, really feel that that will make a massive difference in how you're connecting and how you're building that relationship with spirit. And how are you connecting? Because when you, when you work from the space of, I am spirit. We are all one, and I am going to have a conversation with this spirit here and deliver it back to this living spirit over here. That's when it will become easier. Like, it, you, you'll get so much more evidence that everybody's trying to prove evidence, right? And I get it, I get it. But Lord, let's just let's just talk to someone. Let's just have a, let's just have a conversation, and we will be so shocked at the evidence that comes from that beautiful connection and that beautiful conversation. So there we go. Oh, I'm glad you're liking this morning talk, everybody. Thank you. So these are things that you can do. You can stop yelling at spirit, stop blaming spirit, um, stop telling them the ways they need to connect with you. How about you just become flexible and you learn and you discover how they wanna work with you. How, how do they want to dance? Let them, and all you bossy people out there who need to lead the dance, let them lead the dance. Let them lead. All right? You, you don't step on their toes. I promise they're not going to step on yours. It's going to be this beautiful dance, this beautiful, ugh, it could be tango, it could be salsa, it could be ballroom, it can be all these beautiful, beautiful things. So, um... Real quick, so Amelia wants to know, do I think mediumship and OCD are linked? Now, Amelia, I'm not a doctor. I cannot diagnose, and I certainly do not want to take away from anyone who struggles with OCD and has been diagnosed with it. However, I will say that me and a lot of my friends are very OCD. And so 
is it very very possible absolutely absolutely and Jeffrey absolutely let's say thank you to spirit thank you please how are you Will you look nice today if you get a picture will you look nice it's a nice shirt you're wearing wouldn't you say that to a, a person you saw standing right next to you right so all these things all right and and we have a miracle before us okay we have a miracle when you are in the vibration of spirit and connecting to spirit that is a miracle it is a gift to not be taken for granted it really is and and regardless if it happens one time for you or a hundred times or it's what you do professionally never take it for granted ever ever all right and please never ever 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 lessen somebody else's experience by trying to tell them that you get it bigger and stronger than they do because we all get it in the way that we're meant to get it and we can build our relationship with spirit we can build our connection with spirit and we can build our connection with one another by honoring spirit so there you go all right that's your that is your inspirational talk for today you feel inspired <laughs> so lovely love to talk to you guys um Again, if you're in L.A., I'm doing some live reading. Shelby and Kiko, you guys should come up Saturday night. It's uh, only a few people. Everybody gets a, a message and a connection. It's going to be really, really fun. You guys should get tickets. Uh, there's a circle starting in L.A. soon. I'll be in Lily down a few weeks, so make sure you check that out. Things are. I'm getting my website done, so check up on the website. And... Um, and there you go. I want you to please have a wonderful, wonderful, fabulous day. And uh, give a little love to spirit today, all right? Talk to you later. Bye.